and the other game is just as big because they get a skip around. Two huge games coming up for Group D. I'm excited for both of them. And we already have kickoff here with Kerry getting the ball first. Think there's any nervousness from Kerry? He's been playing back in the players' lounge. Now he's on the big stage. Yeah, I, I think there can be. And then he's going up against Kiv, someone who he knows just won the belt, the big belt last year, won the most money last year. So he's going up against Kiv, um, someone who's well respected in the community. This should be a good game, though. Uh, Kerry, a seasoned veteran. These guys have all the weight on their shoulders, all the work they had qualifying for the challenge. Working through online group play, working to get here and prepare. It's really one game to determine whether it was all worth it. Yeah, it's one game to get them further, and it also advances them in the MCS points list. You know, you want to be in that top six to get a spot in the Madden Bowl. Both, the, both of these guys need these points. They have to win this game. This game is huge. The, the biggest pressure is on this game three, Kevin Carey. Carey, of course, this is third time he's in an EA major, but his first time he's been here uh, since Madden 17. So back on the big stage, playing across from your opponent, the live event, it's a new kind of pressure. Yeah, new kind of pressure, but Carey, well, well seasoned, like I said. He's been around. He's played in those money games. He's played in the tournaments. He was playing in tournaments with me back in L.A. When, we first, when he first started, he was going to the local events that I was already had been attending. So I've known him about Kerry for a while. He's, he's not one to not deal with the pressure. Also, he's got that stylish sweatshirt. I don't think I could pull that bad boy off. There's, yeah. a, there's a lot going on over there. First and 10 for Kerry in the offense. He's going to start out running the ball with the bowling ball, Leonard Fournette. Yep, he's in this deuce close. Kiv blew it up, missed the hit stick. Look for Kiv to continuously try to blow that halfback wham up in the backfield. He told me he did have wham defense, so he should be well prepared for Kerry's run game. Second down and six, little play action pass. Rolls right side, has a man deep down the field and puts it in his hands, but a great defensive play by Butler. Great defensive play. Free. Ridley almost came down with that for a huge pickup. Instead, Kiv was able to strip that ball out of there. Kiv looked like he initially took his defender out of the play though when he clicked on, but he was able to make up for it with a good user strip there get that ball out third and six already a high pressure situation for Kerry. they need to convert a first down out of this deuce close formation We've seen a lot of gun bunch We've seen a ton of deuce close it's a nice look at another strategy from one of these high level players Derek Carr high pass to Julio Jones it's a catch it's a first down and it's something that guys saw a lot during the club championship because that salary cap, but with the wide receivers you get in draft champions, we haven't seen a whole lot of high pass. Yeah, we haven't, and we haven't, we've seen the high pass try to try to be converted to, to running backs and stuff, and those haven't been successful. So high pass on the hitch there, it does work for Carey, and Carey's in this eye close now. Look for him to, to again, try to establish the run game. Trying to shorten the game with some effective running attack as Fournette. He'll pick up three on first down for Kiv. We're seeing him run out of this uh, a formation. A lot of people are running, a lot of people seeing online. Big nickel over G. Give us an idea of what that looks like. Yeah, big nickel over G. So basically it's four down linemen. And the reason that everyone likes this defense is because of the ends. Their ability to shed the tackles is what makes this defense good. That's why they choose to use it, and that's why you see these guys using it today. They can mix up all kinds of coverages behind it because the pass rush is, is so good with the four defensive linemen. Trying to get pressure on the quarterback, something Kiv did fairly effectively in a second-round game. And if you're Kiv, you're sort of feeling a little unlucky at 0-2 because he hasn't played poorly. He hasn't, but at the same time, for Kiv's standards, I believe he, he should have put that first game away versus Crush, and him unable to do that, getting stopped twice. I, I have to be a tough critic on him because I know how great he is. He has to come out with a win in that game. The bar set high for the defending Madden Bull champion, third and one, carry sticking with that ground and pound to the 42-yard line, Leonard Fournette putting in work. Yeah, that's Kerry's MO. He's, he's a runner. 
I spoke with him. He says they, they think he's more of a runner than what he really is. And I looked at him and was like, you're, you're definitely a runner. And we're seeing that early on. A few runs here to Fournette, establishing his run game early, making Kiv have to key in on that and make him have to switch up his defense to stop the run. First and 10 for Kerry. Derek Carr at the helm. One of the top quarterbacks here in draft as he throws it to Kyle Rudolph over to the right side. A lot of guys able to get Derek Carr. Everybody really happy to have him. Yeah, Derek Carr, one of the better quarterbacks in my draft. A lot of these guys, they wanted him and they got him in their draft. So you see him on a lot of rosters across the board in all these groups, groups A through D. Um, and right there he converted on first down, forcing a second and in inches. And now carry back in deuce close. This is a running down typically, as you see Kiv standing over there to the left with his user, waiting to blow up the, the run. Unfortunately for him, he did not run the ball. Carry chooses the pass, but it is going to be a throwaway most likely as nothing's open. No, he's going back over the middle of the field. It's field. picked off by Kiv going the other way. A mistake from Carey trying to make something happen and instead he gives it right to young kid yeah not sure why Carey thought he had to force something right there it's second in inches it's just a, a play that you do not have to make you, you can throw that ball away take it to third and in inches instead tries to force it down the field and make some highlight type of play for no reason and instead it turns into a highlight for Kiv on the interception and he takes over on his own 14. Joining us once again here in Group D is Drinny from the Players Lounge. And Drinny, you got a lot of stake in this game. You're playing yeah. the winner. Is there somebody here you're hoping to face? What are you looking for? Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter who I play, but uh, I feel really good versus Deuce Close. So honestly, I, I play Gary. But you know, if I play Kiv, I feel like that would be a good one to watch. And you know, you guys are going to be happy with that matchup. I bet so. Yeah, Drini, this problem here. Have you played either of them this year, and how have those games gone? Uh, I played Carey here and there, like maybe like five times this year, but I've never played Kid. Uh, okay. Me and Carey, I mean, it went, it goes back and forth, but I, f I found some uh, deuce close defense for this tournament, so I feel ready. Got it. You keep it loose back there. How, how's the atmosphere in the players' lounge? Uh, I mean, sometimes it go like they, it can get wild here, but uh, usually it's. Uh, a little uh, calm, nothing too crazy, but yeah, here and there, they'll go wild for like some plays. Everybody locked in, appreciate it, Drini. Keep watching, should be a great finish to this game. High pressure situation, looking right side. Oh, it could have been picked off. Instead, it's batted out of the hands of the receiver and a big third and eight for Carey's defense. Yeah, great play there from Reed. Forcing a third and eight, and you're seeing Kiv in a tough spot early on with his offense, has to come out and dot this defense from Carey. Kiv once again in that gun bunch. Three to the right side, moving Hill over to the left. Third down and eight. Trying to make something happen. Looks underneath. Has a man, tries to get to the first down marker. I think he's going to end up just short of it. It's going to set up a fourth and in inches. Yeah, he's just shy, but again, he's going to have to go for this fourth and in inches. You already got to stop, come out and goal line, maybe a sneak, maybe a fullback dive. We've seen both from young Kiv. We've also seen the toss, so he's not, he's not scared to toss it. Some have gone away from the toss with QB sneak being so good right now, so. We'll see what he decides to do here on fourth and inches. I would look for a QB sneak. It's going to be up to the big hosses to create some room. Quarterback sneak. Oh, a big tackle on the interior. It. And it's a turnover on Downs. He gets a stop on the sneak. He did not get the quarterback sneak. And, and if you look at who ran that, I believe he subbed in Lynch to run that. He has Russell Wilson decides to go with Paxton Lynch, the tall backup quarterback thinking he would just lean forward. Unfortunately for him, he does not convert it and Carey gets the ball in his 24. Boy, Pat Lynch on the helmet say, good try, buddy. You're not seeing the field anymore. You're one opportunity, you're one shot, and you couldn't make it happen on a sneak. And Carey, after the turnover on what many would consider a huge mistake, gets the ball back in great field position trying to get the run game going. Yep, establishing the run. He's, he's only averaging a couple yards per carry with Fournette. But someone like Carey, 
he's not going to get away from the run. He, he knows his game plan. He's he's got got here with his, with that exact game plan over and over. He's going to stick to it. So look for him to run the ball more with Fournette and really try to force that run game. Fournette shifts slightly to the right side. See him on that wheel route, second and 11. Derek Carr trying to make something happen. He's going to step up. Looked a little indecisive in the middle, and that can be a killer as that could have been a fumble. Yeah, he could have took off, decided last second to try to find something downfield, so he tried to set his feet. And then when you do that, it takes a couple seconds. By that time, the defense was able to sack him. Third and 10 now coming up for Kerry. Kiv looking to hold him the three. Defense standing tall early in this win and stay in game. Deuce close formation, which we've seen from Kerry throughout the group stages. Both players locked in, needing a win. Car dropping back on third and 10. Rolls right side. Looking back at the end zone, that one. Hit the popcorn vendor in row one. It's a fourth down, and Carey is going to have to settle for three. Yeah, settle for three here. So Carey unable to capitalize off the stop. The huge stop on the QB sneak has to settle for three. There's a flag on the play as well. Right Maybe offsides. Off it is. It's not going to change the outcome. He's going to take his three. Um, luckily for Kiv, it was, you know, fourth and ten, not fourth and four and whatnot. But Carey takes a three-nothing advantage late in the first quarter. Kim's got to feel real good about that. Uh, gets stuffed on the quarterback sneak. Puts Carey on the 24-yard line. Doesn't really let him go anywhere and only gives up a field goal. Yeah, only gives up a field goal. Defense stood strong again. So two good defensive drives for, for Kiv. His offense has to get going here. That's what, that's what wins him tournaments. That's what wins him games. He has to get his offense clicking. And on the flip side, Carey has to continue to play good defense. The throw over the middle. DJ Moore to the 39-yard line. Reminder, folks, coming up at the conclusion of this game, we got one more on the slate. It is the Group C and D wildcard games. Going to bring back the all-star, Scott and RG. Problem's going to stick around. The jumbo set to call that final game. And tomorrow it all single elimination. We're going to be giving out a belt tomorrow night. Should be a lot of fun. It's a spin move on the outside for Barkley. He'll pick up 10 at the end of the first quarter. 3-0. Carry on top. But a lot of time left. And Kiv's got the ball. Yeah, Kiv's got the ball. He's already across midfield. Looking to move the ball down the field. Get seven. Settle in offensively and put his defense back on the field. Flat pass to Barkley once again. And so far that flat pass to Barkley, it's not resulting in five yards, it's 10, 15 yards. Yeah, he's a playmaker, and he may not be the best playmaker on his roster because he has Hill. You know, Hill stretches the field, does all sorts of things. But Barkley getting that ball in his hands in the flat, able to spin move, able to use his speed to get up the field. It's a huge play for Kiv. And you see right here, Barkley on a fade route. Watch out for him. Dropping back to pass on first and 10. Three-man rush, nobody open. Sending the playmaker up the field, but the pressure bearing down on Kiv. He just chucks that away to get to a second down. Yeah, willing to throw the ball away, get the second down. Didn't want to force anything. Almost got baited right there on the playmaker. Looked open. Luckily for him, he saw the user. Throws it out of bounds. Second and ten coming up for Kiv. And for Kiv, after that first game, so many turnovers. Certainly playing a little more conservatively, trying to keep the ball in his hands. Yeah, he is. And, and, and you look at him, though. He's going to air this ball out. He's, he's trying to attack down the field. Carey has to keep mixing it up. But you can't run the same defense on these players like Kiv. They're, they're just going to pick you apart eventually. So going to have to keep mixing it up on the defensive side. Quick throw underneath to Hill. He'll pick up a couple to the 26-yard line, cut it to a third and manageable. Third and manageable. Look again underneath. But this is a big play where everyone on defense knows that you want to go underneath. So they do hard flats. They cover underneath. And that's when you get hit over the top. So. Look for Kiv to know that and look to look for him to attack over the top. Wilson in the pocket on third and four. We've seen this a couple times from Kiv today. Third downs on the edge of field goal territory, taking a sack. 
Yep, taking a sack. Did not get sacked out of field goal range. Luckily, though, just a 52-yarder here for Kiv. Let's we'll see if he can nail this. The kick looks perfect, and it's up and good, and we have a tied ball game here. Right through the up uprights, and how about we're heading towards halftime. 3.53 to go, and it's nothing short of what we were hoping for, Problem. It's a tied ball game with a chance to get to the next round. Yeah, the pressure's on both of these players. Both of them haven't came out with their best offensive game plan yet. We'll see if that changes, if someone could break the ice with a touchdown that would be huge in this ball game. It is a little weird to sit there and go, hey, if you win this game, congratulations. You get to play Dreamy. <laughs> right, right. That's a tough matchup. But again, all these guys, they play the game, not the name. They're here for a reason, trying to win that belt, and they're all Deep capable shot. of doing that. Looking with for the ball. middle. Julio Jones, it's batted out of his hands. Another key defensive play from the Defense of young Kim that could have been monumental. That looked like Butler once again, I believe, and, and that's his second big uh, pass break up there for Kiv, and it forces a second and ten. Huge play. Oh, Leonard Fournette says this is a big boys game. Lower the shoulder, get out of my way. First down. Fournette, he's, he's a dog, he's a horse. He's back there, and he will continuously give him the ball if you allow him to pick up that type of yardage. Carry with a nice, easy run, picking up the first down. He's a dog, he's a horse, a giraffe, an elephant. He's Everything. every sort of animal. Everything. As the defense getting to the quarterback, and all of a sudden, you look <laughs> at that stat. Three for eight passing the ball, only 32 yards for Carry. Yep, Carry, uh, again, he could have ran the ball there. He's, he's probably trying to catch Kiv over committing to the run, and then he's going to try to hit him deep. But he was unable to do that there, and now it's a second and ten for him. Still playing out of that deuce close formation. Two tight ends tight to the line, two wide receivers. Car dropping back, looks to the wheel. Nobody's over there with Leonard Fournette. You better put somebody over there because Fournette will take that all day long. How about 20 yards? Yeah, whether it's the run or the pass, you've got to key in on Fournette. Carry more than anyone util utilizes his running back out the backfield with those wheel routes and all sort of routes out of the backfield. Carry takes advantage there. Picks up a huge first down. And you look for him again to, to work the clock here. Doesn't want to give Kiv too much time. He's not in a hurry here. The clock is his friend. Back in I form close. Probably a run play. First and 10. I formation. Fournette at the top of that eye. Looks like it's going to be hand up to Fournette left side. Uh oh. Hit stick attempt goes a haywire in Fournette. He'll pick up 15 yards. A little fun nugget of information for you that I just saw. Uh, Kerry, he has the most Twitter followers of anyone in the MCS. He's got 41.9 thousand Twitter followers. That's a huge following. That's nice. He should be using that to his advantage, growing his brand. You got a couple, Twitch. right, with the yeah. movement? Yeah, the movement, they always hold it down. They're, they're strong in the chat right now, I'm sure. Shout outs to them. Shout outs to everybody in the chat showing love. Shout out to Problem right hanging out with us this weekend. A lot of fun working with him. First and 10. Fournette left side. Great blocking on the interior. So far, the left side of that offensive line is sealing the edge and letting Fournette get outside. Yeah, Fournette's way too easy right now on these runs. Second and short. It's, it's going to be too easy of a game for Carey if Kiv continuously allows him to run the ball with Fournette and pick up easy yards on the ground. Tie game right now. If you missed our first two games, well, you missed a couple doozies, and it set up this matchup. Win, you're in. Lose, you're going to be hanging out in the players' lounge the rest of the time because you got no more games to play here at the Madden Challenge. Back in I form close. Well, he continue to run the ball, maybe. Yeah, look for the run off the right side, I would assume. It's motioning right to left, flip the play. Gonna go stretch wow. left side. What a patient run there. He cut that inside instead of going outside the tackle. Yep, he's a patient runner. He has good run vision and he's able to hit the holes at the right time. Use that one cut. Just a great runner. And uh, he's, he's really killing Kiv on the ground. You know that the deep passing game is incredibly flashy, but those sort of plays are really intriguing to watch. That's a patient runner uh, finding the right routes. Yeah, you got to look where the tight end is, you know, and that's where that's where the stretch is going to go. So if you're Kiv, you got to be expecting a run that way. You have to be expecting that. 
He's done that. He's motioning. He's even telling you. He's motioning the fullback that way. He's telling you that's where the run is going to go to that right side. And he goes right side. And with Fournette, as we get to the two-minute warning, 3-3 three, three your score. It has been all Leonard Fournette. You got to think, Kerry, when he saw that card pop up in his draft, he knew as a patient runner, as somebody who's going to go through contact, that was exactly the player he wanted. Yeah, that's the type of players that you want as a runner. And myself being a runner, that's who I want. I want those guys that are going to fall forward, they're going to break tackles, the Derrick Henrys of the world, the Leonard, Leonard Fournettes of the world, those guys that are going to get those extra yards. Power back, showing out here in this Final game of Group D, the final game of the group stage here at the Madden Challenge. Second and six for Derek Carr, dropping back, looking back at the end zone, high pass, Julio can't get the feet in bounds. My, oh my, how close was that? Super close, did not get both down in bounds, so unfortunately for, for Carey, it's an incomplete pass out the back of the end zone. Sets up a third and six, a huge third and six. Is he going to have to settle for three, or is he going to get six on this drive? Looks like he can get a first down inside the one-yard line, but he's thinking he wants six. Splitting Julio Jones wide left. Calvin Ridley, the other wide receiver. The two Atlanta Falcons playing together on Carey's team. Look for a quick flat pass to the left side before now. Car dropping back. Look at back at the end zone. How about one more time oh, to Julio goodness. and one more time. He can't pull it down. Problem, what's going on? Yeah, that's just unfortunate break for Carey. That's unlucky in that spot. It's just a, a flat out drop. Wasn't hit on the play. The, the camp chancellor was there. I guess you could call it footsteps, but right there I need my, my receiver to catch that ball. That needs to be a touchdown if you're Carey. That's an unfortunate break. But nonetheless, if you told Carey you have a chance to move on in the next round. You have a three-point lead nearing the end of the half with a chance to win and get in. I think you'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah, scenario. I would be happy. But at the same time, I'm, I'm unhappy right now. If I'm, I want that touchdown. That has to be a catch from Julio right there. That's 97 overall. Has to be a catch. It was those three overall points he didn't have to get to 100. That's why he dropped it. <laughs> right, right, right. He first needed those. <laughs> first and ten for Kiv. He has to come out strong. Ooh. There's that flat pass. Ooh, did you see that one-handed catch from Saquon Barkley? Just a what? beast. Absolute beast Saquon is. Dude, talk about a guy coming out of college that a lot of people take a running back that high in the draft. You don't know what you're getting. You've got a star. No, a star. He's arguably the best running back already in the league after his rookie season, which is crazy because you don't really see that uh, from, from any position. But Saquon is an animal. Wilson deep over the middle. Sony Michelle makes the catch and holds on to it at the 41-yard line. Buck 16 and counting. Kiv looking to take the lead. Yep, you're going to see Kiv try to attack deep here. Carry. you don't want to get too conservative. You just don't want to give up three. You don't, you don't want to just hand them three points. you got to continue to try to apply pressure, try to play good defense here as, as Kiv just picks them apart underneath, gets out of bounds as well. I think it's called being aggressive yet responsible. You, you, you don't want to hand them the three points, but you also don't want to give anything up over the top. Yeah, you, you most definitely don't want to give up a touchdown over the top. But, but like I said, you can't give up. You can't continuously give up some you know cheap yards underneath. And on, on top of that, you can't allow him to get out of bounds. Whip route left side. And as DJ Moore gets the feet and bounds the 47-yard line. And reminder, guys, uh, there's another game going on right now. Prodigy and Crush playing for the first round bye. You can watch that over on Mixer. That's at Mixer.com slash Madden. Right here, these guys, they won't be getting a first round bye. They're just hoping to get to the next round as... They are 0-2 in Group D, needing a win. Wilson dropping back to pass. Rolling right side, has a man. It's Tyreek Hill. Out of bounds of the 31-yard line. 11-13 passing so far for Kip. And that's the same play that Kip used against Crush, where he motioned the bunch receiver from right to left on a slant and just waited for it to develop. Kiv brought the cloud flat down or the heart flat and was able to hit it over the top. Similar to what we saw from Boogs motioning the wide receiver on that drag route coming back across the formation. Yeah, exactly. Similar to that. Just a, just a little bit different because the crossing routes are different, but 
But yes, similar to that, Kiv is using that same type of strategy. Second and 10, 45 seconds remaining, two timeouts for young Kiff. Stepping up in the pocket, looks right up the scene. There's Lewis down to the eight yard line. How do you lose track of a receiver on a seam route? He saw it right there. Yeah, he saw it. It was an easy read for Kiv. Never was in question. There was no user there, no zones there. Pretty questionable defense there from Carey and was forced to use a timeout. He doesn't want to let Kiv clock this out and just take it to the half. He wants to put him in the spot where if he scores on this very next play, he has a couple timeouts to get himself into field goal range. We'll see what happens on this first and goal. Let's go work. Let's go to work. Six three carry with a lead. A tenuous lead at that as Kiv knocking on the door. He's about to kick that door down, trying to find the end zone. Going to half with a lead. Handoff, Sony Michelle left side. Nobody is there. Get into the end zone as Kiv gets a big play before the half. 36 seconds remaining. Kiv takes the lead. Untouched on the run. And, and those are the big plays for Kiv. It's been runs, which is surprising. Those, those big run plays have resulted into a touchdown right here once again. So takes the lead 10 6. But what Kerry did with that timeout. On the previous first down, it saved him some time here rather than letting that clock run. He still has two timeouts, 30 se 36 seconds remaining. So pretty pretty good spot here for him to try to get three. We're talking about team MVPs here in the Madden Challenge. For Kib, it might be Sony Michelle. He's come up with some huge touchdowns from a guy who's not known as a runner. Yeah, and, and Kib, that's, that's the thing. Those are bonus touchdowns. When you can run the ball and you're Kib and get touchdowns untouched, from that distance, first and goal from the nine, you, you'll take that every time. So, All good, I want in life play. is for them to keep track of bonus touchdowns. <laughs> I feel like that'd be a fun thing to keep track of. As Kerry knows, he's got some time. I don't know if he was going for the dive or the slide there, but he's lucky he just got to the ground. Yeah, because that was Cam Chancellor. Uh, Cam Chancellor got his hands on, on him. It, it was That ball was coming free. If he got his hands on him, it would have been wham, bam, thank you, Cam. <laughs> that ball would have been on the ground and going the other way. Second and six. Gets out of that play action, looking down the field. Good playmaker. Right across his body, that's Leonard Fournette with the catch. Yeah, beautiful playmaker from Kerry. And uh, if you guys go back and watch that play as viewers, that he's utilizing that playmaker feature where if you flick your right analog in any direction, your, your closest target is going to go in that direction. And that's what Kerry did there. He, he tossed his running back to the left side, and he was wide open with the playmaker feature. Does pick up the first down. Only 22 seconds remaining. Carey now out of timeouts. Keep an eye on that as you're looking for things towards the sidelines and hurrying back to the play call screen as steps up, chucks it over the middle. Bad thank throw. You. How about we go in the other way as Kim says, thank you very much. Spin move and with 12 seconds remaining and two timeouts, Dominic Rogers Cromarty gives Kiv a chance to extend the lead. Yeah, he has a couple plays here to get into field goal range. Look for Kiv to throw a dot anywhere on the field. He has two timeouts remaining, so he can go with this football. He can go anywhere on the field and get in field goal range. And if you're carry, you cannot allow him to get three with just 12 seconds left in the half. Big mistake from carry. And now first and 10 for Kiv. Dropping back, stepping up, Touchdown. looking deep. He's got Hill Let's over go. the top into the end zone. How about that change in direction of where this game was going? Kiv was down, and now he has a two-score lead, a big turnover, and an even bigger pass over the top. Two touchdowns in a matter of seconds, basically. Kiv goes from down three to up 17-6. Finds Hill deep on the route. Carry, you cannot run step for step with, with Hill. He's just going to get behind you, and he, he makes him pay right there with the touchdown. Kiv up 11 in dominant form now. Wow, what a change in this game. Carry had a 6-3 game, a 6-3 lead, but Kiv 14 unanswered points before the half. Yeah, and like I said, less, less, than, sec less than a minute this all happened. And all the momentum is in Kiv's favor now. And, and once again, it goes back to Kerry's game plan. Him being a runner, it, that, that game plan doesn't work 
well when you're down two scores, and that's where he is at the end of the first half. Halftime here in this win. And go in. 17 to 6. Kiv on top of Carey. Problem, right? The GOAT hanging out with me, Nick Mazesco, and, and Problem. We talk about how these short these quarters are, how you can use that clock to your advantage, but as was exemplified at the end of that half, it can all change in so little time. That's why nobody's really ever out of the game. No, they're never out of the game, and Carey outplayed them a decent part of that half, and then you get to the under a minute left in the half, you give up a touchdown, and on top of that, you throw an interception and give up another touchdown. It's just three awful plays from Carey. Kiv takes advantage, and Kiv is up 11 points now at the half. Well, we got another game going on. Let's throw it over to the third member of our crew. It is Rico Williams in the Players' Lounge. Rico, Rico, what's going on? Hey, Nick, before we get into the Prodigy Crush highlights, I got to tell you a great Players' Lounge story. Dreamy plays the winner of the Kiv Carry Q game. He was watching Locked In Labbing getting ready for his next match. As soon as he saw Kerry break those runs, he got up, says, I don't need to see any more. I need to go lab. Walked out of the player's lounge. Came back like five minutes later. Oh, don't need to lab Kerry anymore. Looks like Kiv's about to bring it home. <laughs> but as far as our game goes, let's get to it. Prodigy and Crush, these two are both undefeated, playing for a bye. You can see the concentration, Crush hasn't blinked all day long. But as soon as he did blink, Prodigy found a way to go up top and get that early lead. Was able to punch it in there, but he went the goal line pass route, caught him off guard. Clef was a little disappointed that that 10 cap caught that. But hey, all's good in Madden. But Crush would not be able to fight back. He threw that pick. Prodigy baited him. He's playing great on both sides of the ball. Crush was not able to catch up, but he's in a good position. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Rico. That game for the the bye in the next round. So we got a big game here with that win and get in, but how important, how good would you feel being able to get that bye with a win in that game? Yeah, I would feel great. You always want that bye. You want to be able to skip as many rounds as possible. So that game is huge, and you're seeing two great players go at it. We'll see who comes out on top. Ten minutes of action left here. Kiv and Carey for a spot in the next round. And how about the finish to that half for Kiv? And now he gets the ball. Kiv looking to put this game away. You know, um, Carey in a bad spot. He's down 11, going against a great offensive player. With that being said, Carey's good on defense. He has to come up with a stop here, dial something up on the defensive side of the ball. We talk about how tough it is playing next to your opponent as opposed to playing online. Boy, if I saw that look from Crush, I would be absolutely terrified to do anything. <laughs> yeah, and on top of that, Crush being the player that he is, he's definitely terrified. He's, he's, he's a great player. He's not playing to the camera. He's playing to the guy next to him as, ooh, a tight throw underneath to Tyreek Hill. Able to come up with a catch, picking up seven. You see Kiv's stats. He's 14 of 17. This prolific passing game. He's just going to look to use that passing game to get another touchdown here and extend the lead. Carey has to come up with it. He has to mix something up here and throw him off. He's been getting picked apart all, all game long. So we saw at the end of the half, though, it can all change in an instant. Man defense here from Carey. That, that, that can't be the move. Trying to mix it up. Trying to make Kiv at least think about where he's throwing. Dropping back. Well, it actually kind of worked, problem. Yeah, it did. It did work. Um, again, it will be noted, and I'm sure there's going to be an adjustment on his side. But uh, typically, you're not going to get away with that defense right there. But Carey, good mix up. Third and three now for Kiv. I don't know if you saw Hill coming across the formation. That guy's got burners. He had beaten his <laughs> man by about six steps. Yeah, he did. And uh, the user was there, so he was unable to throw that. Third and three. Give with the ball, shotgun formation. Looks to the flat. Saquon Barkley, and he says, sit down, Saquon. You're not getting the first down. Fourth and two. Yeah, big stop right there. Forcing a fourth and two. Phillips on the hit. 
Kiv going to have to come up with the dot here. You see him toggling through his formation because his players are tired here. That's exactly what he's doing on the screen. If you guys are watching at home, he's toggling through, trying to get his fatigue back, waste a little time here. Fourth and two, come up with a dot here. Probably in the flats, I would assume. And again, look for Carey to know that. Boy, big play. Carey needs this stop bat. Dropping back, looks underneath. Oh, he kind of baited him. He stumbles he back, it. and he doesn't get the first down. It's a turnover on downs, and that may have been the stop to get Carey back in this game. Yeah, no, as a defensive player, Carey played that perfectly. He covered underneath, sent pressure, got the ball out quick, and with his user, came down and guarded underneath and was able to force the turnover on downs. Now Kiv, his defense on the short field. Derek Carr steps up, slides down to the 25-yard line. That turned into a turnover on downs, Prop, but certainly could have been intercepted the way he uh, lurked that route. Yeah, it could have. Yeah, Kiv got, had to get the ball out. At that point, Kiv was just trying to complete anything, so unable to do it, though, and, and it forced a turnover on downs. Huge play. Only a two-score game, and for Carey, a touchdown here would be massive. Second and three play action pass. Rolling right side, looking for his man down the field. It's Julio Jones at the three yard line. Yeah, huge play again for Carey. And, and if you look in the backfield, he's using that motion of the fullback to trick to trick Kiv into thinking it's a run to that side. So look for Carey to continuously do that so it's not a tell. And he's not telling Kiv that he's running every time he motions. Under the three-minute mark in the third quarter, three yards away from making this ball game a whole lot more interesting. Leonard Fournette fights through the tackle, gets inside the one. He's going hurry up offense here. Oh, Carey's Carey trying to catch him fast. He's got that energy rolling. He's looking to get a touchdown quick. Quarterback sneak, touchdown. put it on the board for Derek Carr. Touchdown carries right back in it. Now here's the question. Does he go for two and chase points, or does he kick a, kick the extra point? What would you do in this situation? I, I like to chase my points. Everyone says, oh, it's too early. I don't believe that. And it it, it kind of contradicts everything that, that Madden players say is different than the NFL. How is it too early if the game is so condensed? You know, we're in the third quarter, but this is like the fourth quarter, basically. You're not going to get that many more possessions. I feel like you have to chase these points. You have to go for two here. Plus, in these live events, you don't want to look back and have a case of the woulda, coulda, shouldas. You want to at least know you left it all out there. Two-point conversion. How about it's going to be a run play? And how about Kim says, no, thanks, big fella. Sit on down, keep it a five-point game. Yeah, great defense there from Kiv. Ready for the run. Unable to do that was, was carry, and he only gets six on that drive. But he's right back in this game. His defense played well. He already has six points in the second half. Get his defense back out there and get another stop. One drive at a time. Back to a five-point game. And for Kiv, not the way you wanted to start the half, especially the way you finished the first half. You come out, you go four and out. Yeah, you don't want to go four and out. You don't want to go three and out. You got to go out there, get some first downs, get some points on the board, extend the lead, cut down the clock in the second half, and get out of here with the W. 17-12 the score. Kiv with the ball, looking. He'll hit the flat. That's Saquon Barkley. And what I've noticed has been incredibly effective from Carey's defense. It's a lot of sure tackling. You're not seeing a many misses. Yeah, you, you got to make those tackles at this level. You cannot give up the extra yards after the catch with the spin move, with the hezzy, all that. You have to come, come down there, make the tackle, keep it at a minimum as far as yards gained. Second down and six. Pressure being brought by Carey, but it's picked up. Left side, Sony Michelle. Oh, so pretty with the toe tap at the 45. Yeah, wide open corner route from Kiv. Beautiful throw down the field. One of his biggest throws that we've seen today. Huge play there. Nice dot. Sets up the first down across midfield. And there's your danger with bringing a blitz. The pressure doesn't get there. It leaves somebody open on the back end. Yes, it does. And it's tough to blitz. It's, it's tough to get that pressure. In Madden 19, you, you can't always dial it up when you want to. And right there, they were picked up. And it was a first down for Kiv. Time's starting to be a factor. 
Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Oh, he's got X open down the field. Mm. There was nobody around him, mm. and Kiv didn't make the read. Still completes it, but could have been so much more. No, uh, he didn't get any yards on that play. Could have been a touchdown. But at the end of the day, it's easier for us right here sitting in this chair than it is for Kiv when he has those guys screaming at him on defense. Oh boy, I, I wish I could play as well as I watched the games. I'm <laughs> That's just saying. how I feel. Exactly how I feel. If my vision in game was as good as it is watching, I would be the best offensive player ever. But unfortunately, it's tougher when you're out there. Stepping up in the pocket. Pressure gets there. Wow, a little, little comeback right on the left side. That's DJ Moore. Down to the 14 yard line. You don't see too many comeback routes turning into big yards. Yeah, that comeback route with the, the drag or flat route underneath really opens it up, makes it tough for the, the defense to guard. And then on top of that, the yards after catch there that DJ Moore just picked up were, were huge, especially with that broken tackle animation at the end. Uh, setting up a first and 10 in the red zone now, about to be under a minute left in the third. The young receiver. From the Carolina Panthers coming up big now. Kim getting that Bumble. run game going. Balls wow. out, picked up into the hands of Carey. Another turnover. The fumble bug has been Kim here in the group stage. A huge fumble, and if you're Kim, you got to keep it together. Bad break there for Kim. Has to lock in here on defense. If you're Carey, you needed that break right there. Or Sony Michelle, he could have used a Snickers there on that fumble. You're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. Oh, Carey's got new life. He's been rejuvenated. He's he's he. Derek Carr, he's got the cardio going right now. Ran about 30 yards on that play. Chucks it out of bounds. Yeah, and if you see, Carr hasn't had the greatest day. He's six of 15 with two interceptions. So Carey's pass offense hasn't been there, but his run game has been solid. So look for Kerry to, to get that run game going again and, and really establish that on this drive. A perfectly balanced offense. 15 passes, 15 runs. Mm, aggressive. Three, five yards five. there. Especially after getting a nice stop on first down. That's got to be a little demoralizing. Yeah, and, and right there you see him go offsides. If you're watching at home and you're not sure why those offsides happen as much as they do, it's because the pass rush is on aggressive. So when when players decide to do that, they're, they're, the pros of it is that you're going to get good pass rush. But if your opponent fake snaps you, you're going to be drawn off sides a lot. You can see those coaching adjustments if you play Madden as a, a quick throw underneath. Rudolph can't make the catch. See those on the first screen on the play call screen before you go into any uh, formations or before you even start looking at that. It's uh, under coaching adjustments. And we've seen it a lot here in the Madden Challenge. A lot of guys running on aggressive. Yeah, it's a way to get some good pressure with your ends and, and, and your D tackles. So a lot of people use it, but again, there is a con to it, and, and that's being drawn off sides. And you see a third and five here for, for Carey. Third and five. Car rolling out right side, looking for the corner route. Dropped it. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it. I, I was about to say, interesting to see Kiff switch off the underneath cornerback. I thought he could have got there too, but yeah. he, I guess apparently he, he didn't think he can get there and he, and he ended up stripping the ball ended out. Ended up being a drop anyway, so great defensive call <laughs> there right. by Kevin. Fourth and five. Carey trying to keep the drive alive. Something, I feel like Dr. Seuss right there. I'm just rhyming all over the place. Car drops back. Ooh, Makes a big hit, but Everett holds on to the ball. Yeah, and he picks up eight yards, just enough for the first down. Um, goes back, though, to, to that off offsides earlier in the drive. That isn't there. He can't typically just throw that ball right there, and, and he doesn't pick up the first down. But Kiv giving him the free five earlier, it really cost him on this drive so far. You talk about the little plays. Those are the little moments that you look back on as big. Uh, when it turns into a conversion as Fournette, Picks up four up the middle. Five yards might not seem like a lot, but right there, uh, that drag route is open because of that. Yeah, it is, and, and it's wide open. And looks like Carey's going to potentially take this to the fourth. No, he, he might snap the ball here. We'll see if he comes out with the side form close and snaps it. Going out of the top of the eye. Clock running down. Put your fours in the chat. It is fourth quarter. Five minutes away from somebody earning a berth 
in the next round. Kim with a five point lead, but Carey with the ball. Carey has to come up with a money drive here. This is it right here. Your Literally a life. money drive. It's for money. Yeah, exactly. Tournament life on the line for both players. Carey in control with the uh -oh. ball. Uh -oh. Julio. Uh oh, Julio got loose underneath. Looked like uh, Kiv sort of checked Julio as he went by, but there was nobody to help him on the backside. Yeah, and, and, and Carey's passing out of these run heavy formations like eye close. So it's really tricky because uh, Kiv, you have to be ready for the stretch here, which is what he just called. But on top of that, you, it carries willing to pass out of there, so it's really tough to game plan for. One of the only players that can really pass out of these under center formations. Ball's on the 37 yard line. Carry needing six, needing seven, needing eight. He just needs a, more than five at this point. As Carr drops back, looks to the flat. It's an easy pass to Rudolph. Boy, this kid defense is hitting hard. Yeah, they are, and, and it's a third and six. Didn't give up too many yards there. Hit stick right there at the end of the play. Now the question is, if you're carry, is this four down territory, or are you willing to take three and cut it to two and then rely on your defense? Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see if he if he's in that spot. Third and six, under the four minute mark in the fourth quarter. Looking to throw on third down. Uh-oh, pressure's getting there. He just gets rid of the ball. It's going to be an incomplete pass, and now decision time for Carey. Yeah, and it looks like he, he's already made his mind up. He didn't wait Wasn't one that much second. of a decision. He picked the play within four seconds. <laughs> so he's ready to go here on this fourth and six. He's not taking his three. Even though there's still 351 with three timeouts remaining, he's, he's choosing to go for this. Boy, we were hoping for, like, some Jeopardy think music, maybe a little time. Carey's like, yeah. no, I got it. Click, yeah. click, boom, let's go. Yeah, he's back in this deuce close. Looks like he's even trying to throw the ball. Look at all the guys in the box for Kiv. Yeah, I would look for Rudolph here. No, he's going to audible. Wow. Audibles to single back ace. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. He's running skinny posts right now. Yeah, nothing open. And he's going to chuck it up. Looking deep down the field. That's picked off. Basically an arm punt right now. As they'll take that to the 20-yard line. So he loses 13 yeah. yards on the pick. Great defense from Kiv. Carey tried to go with a, a, a freestyle type play in the sense that he hasn't ran that play all game. Tried to catch Kiv off guard, saved it to that point. Kiv had great defense, was ready for it. Went back there and used the post, picked it off, and now he has control of the game with the lead, trying to put the ball game away. You always wonder, you know, calling those freestyle plays something you haven't run, but. Just post. That's a two route play. It's two post routes and two flat routes with no hot routes that we saw from Perry. Yeah, he he had one hot route with the wheel route to the running back. Um, but yeah, he, that's a play that Kiv has seen him run a lot. Carry streams, and I wonder if Kiv watches those streams, but I know I've seen that, that play ran a lot, as, you know, as I've played Carry in the past. So Kiv looked like he was all over it, and he, and he took that post away. And that's, you know, people say, how much can you prepare for draft champions because you don't know what your playbook's going to be. You don't know what your player's going to be. But that sort of scouting is the prep these guys can put in. Yeah, a lot of players, they, they scream, and you can watch those streams on Twitch, on Mixer, and they're able to, to watch those and game plan for their opponents. Hill taken down at the 24-yard line, third and six. And unbelievably, Gary's thrown three picks in this game. Hasn't looked very good offensively passing the ball, but he's not out of it. A stop here could get him right back in. Yeah, a stop can get him right back in. Um, big thing here, if you're Kiv, you, you want to run this play clock down. You want to make this, if you do complete this inbounds, you want this to be the last play um, before the two-minute warning, and it looks like that's what he's going to do. So that's a good good strategy from him. But he has to convert this at the end of the day. We'll see if he can come up with something. Step nice it up. Strategy. There's nobody in the middle on Russell Wilson. He'll take that. Seven yards for a first down. Carey used his first timeout. Yeah, nice scramble. If he didn't use that timeout, 28 seconds would have ran off, and we would we would be sitting at the two-minute warning. Carey decides to use his first of three timeouts there and snap calls that right after the play. 228 to go for a spot in the wild card round. The winner, congratulations. Good to play Drini. The Madden 18 challenge winner. 17-12, Kiv with a five-point lead. 
And now the Sony Michelle game, and there's nobody up the middle, and it's 11 yards, another first down, another timeout. Another taken. timeout, those timeouts, they're so valuable to give up two right off the bat and, and give up a first down again and, and have Kiv with the ball, 224 left. You can't keep giving that up if you care. You got to make it tough for him. Expect to run here. You, you got to crowd the box. Expect run right up the gut. Three tight ends on the field. Michelle trying to bounce it outside. He's going for the strip, trying to force another fumble. Now no timeouts for Carey, but he does get the stop on first down. Yeah, good defense there from Carey, second 11. If you're Kiv now, you can get a little bit more aggressive. You don't have to run here. You can pass to try to get this first down. You get a first down, at the very least, Carey will be getting the ball back um, with less than 30 seconds left. So you got to get a first down here. 2.20 to go. Michelle outside. Trying to find something, but the defense from Carey makes the stop, and that'll take us down to the two-minute warning. Defensively a big play, but on third and nine, he's going to need the biggest, as he needs, Carey needs something to go his way. The one nice part here problem is that he needs nine yards, and at the end of the day, running the ball might not be able to get it. Yeah, he's not going to run the ball here. First down actually is going to end the game. So if he can get a first down on this play, he's going to be able to have enough enough uh, plays to run the clock out with a new set of downs. Two-minute warning. Shotgun formation for Kip. Going to split DJ Moore wide left. He's dropping back. The defense gets to him. The sack keeps the clock rolling, but Carey gets a huge play on third down. Yeah, huge play. Sacks him on the play. Kiv will just run the clock down here and punt the ball now. He cannot go for this because it, it's it's too far of a distance. Going to have to punt the ball to Carey. Carey's going to have a money drive and no timeouts left. Oh, Kiv cannot believe that no one was open downfield and. As we said, problem, it's a 20-minute game. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what your stats look like. doesn't matter how you feel like you've played. Carey's got a chance to win this game and get to the next round. Yeah, he does. And he's going to have a, a, a decent amount of time. The only, the only downside is he doesn't have timeouts. But he does have a return here. Look from the – thought he was going to run it all the way to the right, but he decided to try to spin back with Reed start from his own 26 doesn't have the most time with no timeouts that's the only thing he's gonna have to complete passes and get out of bounds and his passing offense hasn't been the most effective but if there's a time for it to step up this is the moment buck 17 to go no timeouts for a spot in the wild card round Driving back to pass on first down. Rolls out, left side, waiting. Nobody open, throws it back oh across his goodness. body. Could have been disaster, but it falls to the ground. Should have been picked off probably by 43. Didn't get an animation, didn't get clicked on to pick it off, but nonetheless, it was a good play from Kiv. Carey trying to force something once again, second and 10. Minute 11 to go. For Carey, could be the last minute 11. He's in the Madden Challenge. Dropping back. Rolling left. We'd love to see him. He rolls left a lot. Playmaker up the field. Looks to Julio. One-handed catch. Can't get it inbound. The aggressive catch doesn't pay off. A great defensive plays from Kiv. Just letting his pass rush try to get there. Unfortunately for him, it's not getting there as soon as he'd like. But there's such good coverage behind it. Carey's just really having to rely on broken plays. Out of third and ten. Pressure up the middle, looking over the middle. Oh, boy, dangerous throw into coverage. And now one down to keep your drive alive, keep your life in the challenge alive. Yeah, he's going to have to convert this fourth and ten, or else Kiv would be advancing to play Drini in the wild card game. Can't carry, come up with the dot on fourth down. You have to throw it wherever you can now, whether it's inbounds, out of bounds, all that. You have to get this conversion. How about I whip out a new adjective? This play, gargantuan. Yep. Needing yeah. 10 <laughs> to stay alive. No timeouts. Needing to keep that light at the end of the tunnel shining bright. Dropping back. 
quick drop. Rolls right side. Oh, oh no, he looked to throw. He was past the line of scrimmage, and he gets tackled. A mistake ends the game, and Kiv survives. Kiv survives. Carey tried to throw it to B. He passed the line of scrimmage right before um, he tried to throw, and he did the